now, after you were excited after Joshua's presentation, <laughs> so now we're going to the practical part of the, how to learn this, uh, how to build these type of applications. So then we'll. Uh, yeah, start. I'm Dan, Dan Anderson. I'm going to talk about the boring part, which is setting up and options for configuring Avalon uh, setup. So you could use um, either Docker or you could just, just install it directly on. So Linux image, um, the boot group, the Docker Compose, or Kubernetes, of course, it's a lot easier to use Docker than install every component piece yourself. Uh, you could run it on bare metal or a virtual machine. Um, I actually run it on uh, VirtualBox on my Windows laptop. But there's many ways you could do it. You could use uh, Mac OS or directly on the boot you. Um, you could run using Intel SDX hardware, or you could use a software simulator, so it doesn't have to have SDX hardware, but you lose, of course, the Enclave hardware protection there. For de development options, you could use a direct model or the proxy model. So direct model is not using the blockchain. Proxy model is, is, is in coordination with a blockchain um, technology. Currently, we have, we have two implementations. One is um, Ethereum blockchain, uh, or enterprise Ethereum, that uses Hyperledger base suit. Um, another option that we currently have is Hyperledger fabric. And of course, we could extend it to other blockchain mm -hmm. platforms later. So this is some just ugly um, command line stuff to set it up. Um, you could run it with Docker Compose or Kubernetes, as it's shown here, and I'm not going to go through that. Uh, for standalone, you, you, um, you build it first, and you um, start it up. This is, uh, Avalon is a very fresh project, so we don't have nice little packages yet, but that's coming in the future. You could run it on bare metal or virtual machine. Um, um, people have ran it on Microsoft Hyper-B or, or Oracle VirtualBox. Of course, other virtual machines are possible, but there's the two that I know about that have been used. You could also run on the cloud. I've ran it on Microsoft Azure because that has Intel. You could also you get a cloud instance with Intel SGX. Um, and there's other cloud environments that support Intel SGX. Or even if the cloud environment or instance does not have that hardware, you could run it using the simulator. So, so Avalon currently requires Intel SGX, or you could use a software simulator. And that's an instance of a trusted execution environment. So the intention of Avalon is to add other trust technologies, and it could be hardware or software. It could be like AMDs or other microprocessors. Um, but of course, all these trust technologies are wildly different. So um, they require um, different implementations that have not been done yet. Uh, okay. Um, and if you don't have Intel SGX hardware, you can just use a simulator for now. But that, of course, as I said, does not provide that secure for fortress-like enclave that you, you want to have. Um, there's separate um, YAML files for Docker Compose or Kubernetes to um, run in simulator or hardware modes. So here's the direct model. Direct model is um, you could use, um, well, you have direct model or proxy model. Um, proxy um, interacts with Avalon with a blockchain, fabric, or base um, Direct model, the work orders are submitted directly to Avalon uh, using um, the standard everyday JSON RC RPCs. Um, and the blockchain is only used to bootstrap um, Avalon. And as 
far as when you, after you submit a work order, you have a choice of how you're going to be notified. It's synchronous, async, pull, and notification mode. So there's various options depending on your problem set. Um, proxy mode, as I said, runs with a blockchain. Um, it allows off offloading your computation off off chain in this TE environment. Um, and the driver, of course, is the blockchain execution of a work order or chain code. Um, proxy mode, as I said, two blockchains supported, and hopefully in the future we will support more as demand warrants. So we're going to have a pretty aggressive tutorial. We're going to have everyone here try to develop application, which I don't know how successful that will be, but we handed out these USB keys. So what you want to do right now is, if you want to try this, or you could just listen, if you want to try it, you need to have VirtualBox. Install that and download it. That's on the um, USB key or get it downloaded from the internet. And you need to import one of two images. Um, and you can actually try this at home later too. Um, the first one is Fabric, and the second one is Ethereum. You do one or the other, not both. So, for, once you have it um, instantiated, you log in, username Avalon, password Avalon. Um, I think that got capitalized by mistake. My spelling corrector, evil spelling corrector, did that. Um, not very secure password, of course. So if you're running Fabric, you need to um, start Fabric. Um, this, and the way you do that is you run scripts start Fabric. You have to wait 30 minutes. Um, that's due to our kind of, this is very fresh stuff and we haven't really got it right to um, start it correctly. So it takes a long time right now. Um, and then you use Docker Compose to bring it up. If you're running Besu, um, you do something similar. You you run Docker Compose up, um, and also I, I believe when you um, install these environments, you should have IP address <laughs> ten zero two five. If you don't, you're going to have to um, change the configuration file um, I, I list there. So you have some. If you want to try this, you have some lots of stuff to do. <laughs> do you have the um, the scripts you're using to deploy the Bezu there? Um, they on GitHub or somewhere we could get them, because I'd like to try and put it on the borrow. Um, this, yeah, it, this, it's, it's in uh, Hyperledger Avalon, it's in the repository. This, so it's this on is, the repo, yeah. Yeah, all the configurations are captured in Docker Compose YAML. You can see it. And Jim is actually will have sections specifically on Bezos Yeah, we'll mm -hmm. go into more detail about each of these um, options here, um, Bezu and, and Fabric. Any question? question, I didn't see that. Yes? So would that, same, would that process be the same process if I was using Aroha instead of Fabric? How do I integrate? Well, we don't have Aroha, but it would be similar, yes. That's what I was asking. Yeah. I'm, just like, I'm using, I'm working on a Aroha project right now, and I'm using uh, like Kubernetes and uh, uh, Chef to build my environment, so mm -hmm. I would want to include them. So we need to, we can talk offline about that, but fundamentally, remember that blockchain connector, that is actually what you need to do. You need to have the blockchain connector that comes to Aroha, and the, it includes two parts really. One part is actually going to be provided by the Avalon, that is talked back to you, and you have to pretty much create your own library that actually knows how to send transactions. 